Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be opening up another Funko Pop vinyl figure, this one from Star Wars Rebels, number 136, Hera. Now, apparently in one of the Easter eggs of Rogue One, uh, she's being called for over the intercom at the Rebel base. And apparently the ghost does show up in the film. If you've seen some of the trailers, uh, you can see the ghost ship actually flying around. One in a set of six. So, let's see. There we go. Now, Hera is a Twi'lek. Like, she's the same race as that uh, slave girl, the first slave girl that, Bo that uh, Jabba the Hutt had. That's all around for him. And we'll let you stand on her own. Not very well at all. Let's put her on the base. Okay, this one definitely needs the the base. This one will not do without the base. Yeah, she's very top heavy. But it's awesome. It's a cute little character. She is probably one of my favorite characters. Even though she doesn't get a whole lot of time on the show, she's always one of the more stronger female characters in Star Wars that I can remember. You know, aside from Princess Leia, stuff like that. So she's got a little, you know, goggles here for when she's flying. She's got some detail here on her actual, um, I don't know, tentacle or whatever this is. Uh, she's got some symbols on there. A little too light to see, though. Yeah, you can see there's a circle there. A couple lines there. Same thing over here. I found these at uh, Target, which is surprising, because Target never has a full set of anything. And they finally did. She's carrying her little pistol. And she's got, you know, kind of like that precursor to the to the Rebel Fighter uniform thing. Though it does not match the color that's in the on the box art. You can look at the box art here. The uniform is brown, and so it is. So it, and it's also the same color over here, brown. But if you look at it over here, nice and bright orange. Just the top part you know, conforms to the actual color. So that's kind of weird. They usually make little changes, I'm guessing. You can see the boots. There's some nice detail there. Let's take her off. Boots have some nice detail. Usually those are the things that are, you know, ignored the most. But she seems to have some sort of little pack of something down there. Here on her belt, she's got Appears to be a buckle or something. Good detail on the hands. Little pistol's got some good coloring. At least two, and that's you know different from most of the time. Usually Funko Pop will just paint it paint it black. And that's about it. Now here on the box art, yeah, it matches so so. Looks like it's a redder shade of orange. On the on the box art, but so let's take a look at her eyes. Standard Funko dead eyes, but she's got a nice little some coloring around it, softer, I'd say grayish color or something similar to her hat here. Good detail on the eyebrows. One a little raised, give me that look of hmm disapproval or. Judgment, she's judging you. She is. She doesn't approve of what you're doing. Stop it. And she's got the cute little nose. Got her headphones or whatever these are. Underneath, she's got the breastplate right here. And some padding on the side, on the shoulders. And again, the 
this orange is very reminiscent of the color the rebels do wear you know the new hope and stuff like that but oddly enough that is not the color they had for on the box art Now, I haven't seen the latest uh, season of uh, Star Wars Rebels, but I know she has a father that's also in uh, some sort of, you know, freedom fighter. I don't know how far that's been developed in the last series, or the last uh, season. But, anyway, there you have her. Captain Hera. And that's how they call her in uh, Rogue One. So if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And thank you to everybody that subscribed. Uh, you've really helped me out. It's good to see some progress every now and then. So, thank you. Bye.